Hi friends, in my last uh, white paper series, I spoke about the database migration to AWS RTS. So I thought to in uh, inform you guys there's a service which is called Aurora Serverless V2, recently updated last week. So Aurora Serverless is quite there for some time, but at least V2 is new, but I will give you overview on what is Aurora Serverless and why we need to look at Aurora Serverless V2 for our new architectures. So before going into the Aurora Serverless, you guys know that Amazon Aurora is nothing but the relational database provided by Amazon. So Amazon Aurora is like MySQL and Postgres SQL, which uh, these two it supports mysql and postgres sql if you, any of your application you are running mysql and postgres sql you can choose amazon's own fully managed relational database called aurora uh, aurora aurora rds basically its service comes under the rds but now i talk about something called serverless okay so uh, before we go to uh, serverless we um, had an architecture like we used to have a database and we connect to the application right so in 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 serverless architecture the important feature is uh, we are not going to have an instance uh, or uh, in rds we need to choose an instance which is an underlying compute so that in serverless you are not going to choose a compute which is going so it will going to meet your on demand auto scaling process in uh, database so we will see in detail and i also will tell you what is the uh, difference between aurora serverless version 1 and version 2 so that also will give a clear understanding of this service itself so first thing if you are new with uh, uh, the service just understand aurora serverless is going to help you in your serverless architecture if you have ecs container running in fargate or lambda api gateway all managed services uh, you uh, aurora serverless is going to be a key for your complete serverless architecture so it uh, as you said it has auto the on demand and auto scaling configuration automatically starts up shut down and scales the capacity up and down up based on the application needs so what is for us so one thing is performance the other thing is a cost because you are not going to run an instance for whole time and you are not going to scale the different instance basically it's going to scale up and scale down you can run your own database on aws without managing database capacity of course manually managing the database capacity can take up valuable time and lead inefficient use of database resources so we can manage but of course it takes a lot of time and a lot of efforts whereas aurora serverless you can create a database specify your database capacity then you can connect your application you will pay for per second basis of your database capacity that you use for your database is active and migrate between standard to serverless configuration with few steps in relation to database service rds console in case if people are using uh, uh, already into rds uh, which is the standard rds you guys can also upgrade your upgrade to serverless with few clicks that's what amazon is suggesting so let's go and see uh, aurora serverless version one so when they released the version one it was simple cost effective option for infrequent intermediate and unpredictable loads so it is simple scalable cost effective but they suggest the use case infrequently used application uh, so if you are that application it's again it's not a production you have an application which uh, need for days or week or low volume basically like blog sites people go to blogs uh, uh, and not quite often they search for it and they go it's not like payment system every time people go to uh, net banking or something so in that case uh, it's cost effective but uh, again uh, it is it is not for all 
uh, all kind of use cases but of course you can use for your lower environments like if you, you if you can have your development and test environment for all your application in uh, aurora serverless so the software developer and qa teams use this database during the hours but don't need them on nights or weekend so basically no one is going to run or test it on night and weekends so in that case aurora serverless database shutdowns when it's not in use and start up more quickly when starts in the next day this is fantastic update and uh, this is what we need to uh, consider the benefits of using cloud computing and not running some database on cloud installing our virtual machines so we need to consider but there are other factors like how we rely on data security but keeping that away uh, this is a fantastic uh, 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 service so how to start with v1 it's generally available and uh, in sql and postgre it is you choose the serverless while creating so there is an option which will show you when you create aurora like the option is like serverless and then it creates serverless for you and it gives the endpoint but what is the difference it has in v2 server v2 does more than v1 so v1 is just they said two use cases and and uh, personally i have checked with the use cases customers are using it had problem with scaling because of auto scaling when the load comes it takes some time to scale and that makes the performance issue and sometimes it is not good at scaling as well that's what i heard and that is anyway amazon is not suggesting it for production but still uh, the scaling factor was not so good but in v2 completely they come up with the uh, multi ag because that is also our missing in v1 uh, but uh, global database when you want to have a dr and solutions right aurora serverless v2 instantly from 100 to 1000 transaction fraction of seconds as it scale it adjust the capacity fine graded increment to provide the right amount of database resources for your application fantastic there is no database capacity for you to manage you only pay for the capacity your application consumes you can save up to 90% of your database cost compared to the cost of provisioning capacity for peak load so because you are uh, you are it is now it is going to gradually scale up and scale down uh, based on the request aurora serverless v2 supports all manner of database workloads example it includes development test websites application that have infrequent intermediate unpredictable workloads to the de most demanding business critical application this is a very good uh, uh, key point that requires high scale and i scale and high availability it supports full breadth of aurora features including global database multi ag deployments and read replicas aurora serverless v2 is available for amazon aurora mysql compatible edition and postgres edition so here we have more benefits which is highly scalable highly available cost effective again it's simple transparent and durable so if we see the use cases they say variable workloads you know it's infrequent applications which may uh, suddenly you get uh, uh, booking internet booking uh, like uh, suddenly the movie releases uh, one day the internet will go like the website will go down that is that was the next day after that the, the site won't have that predator workload so it it varies those kind of uh, is really saves lot of cost unpredictable workload so your application is critical and you don't know how much it can scale like it can keep on scale like people are keep on going to come like a new you are launching a new application and you expect uh, 1 million but you don't know still it can go 2 million or 3 million so that case is an enterprise database fleet management i will tell you what is the major difference in serverless uh, because uh, I, i i will i will uh, i i will show you a diagram for you guys uh, and then software as a service application like right now many people are building software as a service products and the software as a service is given to multiple customers right so when you have multiple customers you need to have multiple database instances but those things are taken care by the serverless easily scale out databases 
split across multiple servers. So scale out is a key feature because if it is not scale, after scale up, if it is not scaling down, your cost is high, right? So it takes, uh, it, it, it won't scale down rapidly, but it will try to adjust the capacity and then it scales down to the way where there's no downtime and no disruption for your application. So I think uh, this really help you to understand the serverless uh, v2 so i want to show you a diagram uh, which indicates the benefits of v2 so if you see here uh, let's see let me check if so basically there is a, in, a, in aurora serverless we have two layers like uh, we have a database layer and a compute layer so in the database layer it used to uh, split uh, um, one second uh, i will search for that uh, aurora serverless v2 sv1 so let's see uh, there is an image for it uh, yeah this is the image i am looking for so if you see here this article came on 21st april generally available for a demand so here you will see the compute part and storage part the serverless will rapidly scale in the storage level so this is where the data ma fleet management was there as a one feature where your instance will be the same like you don't need to keep on scale your uh, instance as well as well so instance will be same uh, you have one drive in the same way if you are already using aurora you will understand but if not this instance is needed for uh, the instance is needed. but they are separating these two instance and your storage now and your sto storage can scale but the storage part is not in the control of us like it we will pay only for the load and uh, we will have some smaller instance on stop so one of the key feature is separation of compute and storage as a result they scale independently the, the you don't need to uh, need 16 gb ram 25 gb ram 40 gb ram uh, for it so aurora storage automatically scales the amount of data in your database increases for example you can store a lot of data and if one day you decide to drop most of the data the storage provisions adjust automatically However, many customers said that the same flexibility in the compute layer of Aurora since most data workloads doesn't need a constrained amount of compute. The workloads can spike in frequent and predictable spikes over the time. To serve the kinds of workload, you need to provision the peak capacity you expect your database will need. So you need to schedule your instance to serve your uh, database capacity. So to solve this problem, 2018, they have launched this serverless uh, first version, uh, which is costly. But I have already explained to you guys why the, server, the main features of uh, V2 is it enable uh, 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 performance and it is ready for production. And they suggest to go with, uh, uh, go for our, our all kind of business critical application. You see your application, this is your compute field which can automatically scale and you have a storage field which automatically scales. So there's no dependency between your compute and storage. That's really good. And I will share this link as well in the description so that you guys can um, refer it. I hope this is really, really useful uh, service. To know about for your new designs and architectures thank you guys bye